NRM presidential candidate Choi Kaguta Museven, who is still in the Kigezi sub-region, took his campaigns to Rukunjiri, the home district of one of his key challenges, FDC candidate Dr. Kizabesi. <coughs> but ahead of his first rally in Rubavo County, we engaged some residents on some of the issues they would want urgently addressed by the next government. This 22-year-old Baba has been in the business for over three years now. Lack of jobs. If someone comes and wants to shave, he or she begins as if he wants a matoke to eat. Eh? He says it's from this business that he has managed to fend for his two children and siblings. As presidential candidates come to his area, he would like to hear their concrete plans on bringing down power tariffs that he says is unaffordable for people like him. Uh, I think uh, if, we, if power is on daily, the president's rally was due at Nyarushanje grounds and a number of people patiently waited for his address. The president arrived at the grounds at about 2.30 p.m. for his first rally. As has been the norm, he stated what government has done so far, adding that it would do more if he's voted back in office. The president said his next government would put emphasis on education and close other gaps. The NRM presidential candidate who concluded the Kigezi leg of his campaigns then announced the appointment of former Makere University Chancellor Professor Mondo Kagonira as the presidential advisor on Kigezi region. <laughs> Professor Gagonera, who has previously served as area MP of Rubabo and Minister Welcomed Appointment. The Kigazi region is a, a region of very complicated uh, geography. And uh, there are micro areas that uh, need detailed perform, uh, attention. Therefore, it needs someone who knows the area very well, demographically, geographically, and otherwise. On Friday, President Museven will campaign in Ntungamo district, and he begins the Ankole leg of his vote hunt. Maurice Ochoa, NTV, in Rukunjiri.